Hi everyone and welcome to our next video on using Cisco Packet Tracer. In the next few videos we're going to take a look at commonly used network devices that we use to move packets. In other words that we use to move data. And the three we're going to focus on are the hub, the switch, and the router. In this video we will take a look at how hubs work. We'll start with that one because it is probably the simplest out of these three in terms of how it functions. So let's take a look at it. What does a network hub do? Well, basically what it does is it receives packets from a source computer and it copies all of that packet data and sends it to all the other computers connected to the hub. So it's a device that's used in a local area network for computers that are connected together. One thing in terms of memory, it does not hold addresses in memory like other devices do. It's a very simple device. Why do we use this? Well, it is a very low cost device. And if our LAN is small and doesn't have many computers, it does function sufficiently. The downside, the cons, are it will cause an excess of data traffic because it's sending packets to devices that didn't really want the data, but it's being sent the data anyway. So that's one of the main downfalls of the device. In terms of the OSI model, if you've been reading about OSI model, this device works on the physical layer, layer 1. So let's go in to Packet Tracer and let's take a look at how we can connect a hub. So what we're going to do is once you open up Packet Tracer, you are going to set up five desktop computers that are connected together with a hub in what we call a star topology. And we're going to show you what that is here. So first thing, once you open up Packet Tracer, we are going to go to network devices and remember we have routers here we've got switches and we've got hubs so we're going to click on hub and we're going to choose this hub right here and we're going to put that right in the middle we need to put in some computers in here and those are end devices so we're going to go to end devices we're going to click on that and let's put some pcs here so let's put one here and we'll put another here one here so we'll put in five PCs now what we need to do is connect these devices to the hub because our goal here is to have them be able to communicate with one another this PC is a different device than what the hub is so remember if the devices are different when we're using connecting cables if they're different devices we are going to use a copper straight through so we're gonna click on this and we're gonna connect it through fast Ethernet and we're gonna connect it to the hub so looking at the hub here if we count remember with computers we typically count starting from zero we have six different connectors here that we can connect to so it doesn't matter which one we'll take this first one here and then we're going to do the same here and we're going to connect from the fast ethernet port on the back of the pc and we're going to go to fast ethernet one we're going to grab another straight through cable and connect from fast ethernet to the hub and same with this device and one more here to the hub you can see that we do have one port left over on the hub but we're just going to have five PCs connected together now what I have done here is I have put the IP addresses that I want to assign to each of these devices so what we need to do is go in and configure each device remember that devices can be assigned an IP address with what we call a static IP address 
or they can be given an IP address with a DHCP server. We're going to look at that later. For now, we're going to assign each device a static IP address. So if we go in and we go to desktop and we go to IP configuration, just move this out of the way. We are going to choose a static IP address and we're going to assign this 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. Click on subnet mask, it defaults to the correct subnet mask, and that's it. We can close this here. Let's go to the next one. Go to desktop, IP configuration, and this one here is going to be assigned a static IP address 10.10.10.11. Click on subnet mask, and there, that one's done. Click on this one here. Let's go to desktop, IP configuration, static 10.10.10.12. Click on subnet mask. We'll close that. We'll do the same here. And this one here is 10.10.10.13. Click on subnet mask and close it. And the last one. It is assigned an IP address 10.10.14. Click on subnet mask and close it. So there, we've assigned each of the PCs a static IP address. If I click on hub, let's take a look at what we can set in here. We can actually turn this device off and on. So sometimes in Cisco Packet Tracer you might build something, not realize the device is off. You can actually turn the device off and you can see here that all of a sudden our connections are lost here. We can turn it back on so you can see it's come back on. So if you're ever wondering why all the connections are down, the device might be off. You actually have to go into physical and actually turn on the device. If we click on configuration and attributes you can really see that a hub is a really simple device we don't have to do anything here so all a hub does is it receives packets from one device and basically copies them and sends them on to all the other devices so to show that what we can do is I can click on simulation mode and we can go in to say this device here and if we just move this over here so we can see if I go into command prompt and I do a ping and I'm going to ping from this computer right here I'm gonna ping this computer here so 10.10.10.12 hit enter and you can see it's getting ready to do the ping remember I'm in simulation mode so it's doing this very slowly I can proceed with the simulation by using actually this play control button here so I'm just gonna click on this play here and you can see that it sends it to the hub and now if I click it again you can see what it does it actually sent the packet to every other device and it actually shows a little X here showing that that device really didn't want that packet but it was sent that packet anyway this device here was the one that wanted it and so there is no X here if I click the capture then forward button again what it does is it sends an acknowledgement back from the one that it did want to send to. And if I click it again, it sends an acknowledgement back to all devices saying that this did receive the packet. These computers here, it doesn't matter. It's this one that needs to know that this received the packet. So it did get the acknowledgement back here. So you can see that's why it's showing this check mark here. 
So as you can see, a hub is a very simple device. If we just reset the simulation again, just to show you how this works again, if we click on this device here and we go in to command prompt, and if we did another ping, just to confirm what we saw before, let's ping 10.10.10.10 .10 and hit enter and minimize this you can see that it's getting ready to do the ping we're in simulation mode so if I go capture then forward here the packet gets sent to the hub and remember hubs all they do is copy that packet and send it off to all other devices connected to the hub so if we press capture then forward you can see that it does get sent off again so we click capture then forward again you can see that I think that I clicked it twice this is the device that did want the packet this is showing an X here because these devices did not want the packet this device now is going to send an acknowledgement back so if we press this here it sends it back to the hub and if we click it again we want the acknowledgement to come back to this machine here but what it does is it sends it to all devices so we can see a check mark here this does get the acknowledgement that that packet was sent and received these devices show an X because this did get the packet so does this so does this but we didn't really want it to get that so you can see what a hub does very simple device just copies the packet it receives and transfers it on to all other devices connected in the hub very simple device but it does cause excess traffic if your network's small though it should be sufficient to do various tasks that's it for this tutorial open up track packet tracer and try this on your own see you next time